Hey guys, this is Mio, and welcome to my first vlog for Mio's Rizos. I want to take you guys on a journey. Um, I'm still going through my healthy hair journey, but I want to share some tips that are that helped me through my journey, and hopefully you guys can grasp to it, and it'll help you, especially for those girls that don't know what to do when they first start. I'm gonna share 10 tips that helped me during my healthy hair journey, and I'm gonna start with what inspired me to go on this healthy hair journey. So what inspired me? So one day I was on Instagram and I was looking through pictures and I saw one of my followers that she posted that she was transforming her curls. So I'm just like, wow, her curls look so pretty. Now, after dyeing my hair and flat ironing it so long and just wearing it straight all the time, I realized that my hair really wasn't curls, it was strings. Like they were looking like dreadlocks. And I was just like, what is that? Like, that's not even a curl. So then I saw her pictures and I was like, wow, like I can, you know, and she had strings too from before when she showed before and after pictures. So when I saw that she transformed, I was like, wow, like I really want to try this. So I um, saw the first video that I ever, ever saw was Hi Felicia and it was her doing her wash and go. And I was like, wow, she's so detailed and everything. Like, I loved it. And then I started following her and I just started taking her tips and everything and it just really helped me. And then, finally, I met her. Um, she had a meet and greet in the city with Diva Curl and it was so amazing. She's just an amazing spirit and it was great meeting her. Um, and that's really what inspired me to keep going with the journey at first i'm not gonna lie it was discouraging because as a curly girl you're just like where do i start what do i do and that's just how i felt i felt so overwhelmed i didn't know what to do so i started with trying out products and trying you know many many routines and everything of that sort and just doing a lot a lot of research and once I felt comfortable and I saw that my hair was really transitioning, that's when I was really motivated to keep going with it. And I was just so amazed on how transformed my hair was after I started really taking care of it and being patient with my hair. Now, the first thing that I really, really stopped doing was no So ladies, this thing right here, you're going to throw it out because it's not going to work. Don't use heat. Once I stopped using heat, like I saw my curls transform and it was like the best thing. So just don't do it at all. Um, the next thing that also helped me was hair dye. Um, I used to dye my hair a lot, especially those cheap little $3 Walmart hair dyes, they don't work. So don't do that because it has a lot of chemicals that damage your hair and you need to take care of your hair. You want your curls to come back. So throw that out too while you're at it. Then the next thing that really helped me too was the products. You have to know what's in your products. No silicone, no sulfates, no parabens, none of those things because those things add up build up and they just they they're so bad for the hair with research you know i learned that it's just it's damaging to your curls then the next thing that you need to know when transitioning is your hair hair type so i know you guys get overwhelmed with this part you'll see what is my hair type what are you talking about so like my hair type is 3b 3c um Everybody's hair type is different and the products work differently for each hair type. So you just have to know what your curly hair type is once you've transitioned. Um, also, porosity. Porosity has a lot of things to do with that as well. Um, I'm low porosity hair, so I have to do techniques that work for my low porosity hair. So th those are most important as well. The next thing we're going to go to that really helped me was that I started doing was pre pooing so I used a lot of hot oil treatments before washing my hair because as we all know when learning about it, shampoo strips all the natural oils and everything from our hair and it just, it's bad for our curls. So I started pre pooing with hot oil um, before I started my um, wash and goes and my wash day routines and that really helped, especially with um, moisturizing my hair and everything. The next thing that's also very important 
is detangling detangling really helped because i used to not detangle my hair at all until the end of the week or when i was gonna wash my hair and let me tell you when i used to use the comb it was ripping my hair and all the clobs of hair and i'm just like oh my god i'm going bald i don't have any hair left but it was just that I wasn't detangling my hair. So you have to make sure that every time you wash your hair or even during the week, you just have to detangle. Detangle is really helpful. And then um, also, I know that people think that water is damaging, but actually water is your best friend. When you have curly hair, water is your best friend. You have to always have a spray bottle with some water. Um, when you're washing your hair, you use warm water. Um, just water 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 products that ha have the first ing ingredient as water is is good because that's what you need water or that moisture you want your hair to look moisturized you want it to be shiny and water does that even drinking water i drink lots of water almost a gallon a day and it, it helps and it clear it's beautiful for your skin because i know you want to walk around with flawless curls flawless skin so water is it then um also something that helped me with uh keeping my my hair was protective style so i work in an office setting i can't always wear my fro so i had to learn how to kind of style it and still protect my hair so protective styles really helped me as well i will moisturize and protect my hair wear it in a bun two twists in a bun um to twist and pin it back whichever but i also moisturized with water in the morning and i put my products and everything and i went to work and it was fine because it was tied back um then also we're gonna go into silk and cotton now cotton t-shirts for me work better than a microfiber towel i know that you guys probably hear microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt now for me cotton t-shirts are better because it doesn't give me as much frizz as a towel so i really prefer the cotton t-shirts then silk um you have to use a silk satin pillowcase or also what i do is that at night i wrap my hair in a silk um, scarf and I go to bed with it I wrap it up and I go to bed if you can't get a, a pillowcase you can go on Amazon Walmart whichever you can go online and get one or also a trick I learned because I didn't have one at the time I took my um I took my scarf and I wrapped it around my pillow and I'll go to bed and my wife would be like what are you doing it's it's my pillowcase you know you have to do what you got to do for your hair then um the last thing that really 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 helped me was um my diva cut at first i was scared because i'm like oh my god they're gonna chop off all my hair i'm gonna come out i'm gonna have no hair and a lot of people think that cutting off all your hair helps now i didn't cut off all my hair i didn't do a big chop a lot of people do that and that's fine if you choose to do a big chop that's up to you but um i didn't and my curls are still coming through and i'm still going through this journey so a big chop is not necessary, but the Diva Cut did really help me at shaping my hair, um, especially because um, when I was first transitioning, I had like a big knot in the top of my head, and I used to be like, what the heck is this? It's not drying correctly. So after I got my Diva Cut, they chopped it up. I had pictures and everything, and, and they cut it very well. I went to the one in Soho where I met Hi Felicia. It was really, you know, it was a great experience when I got my um, hair cut. So that's... I, I recommend that a lot um, to do that and then after that you just have to keep up with it you get trims um, and you dust off your ends you know there's videos on that as well on how to dust your ends or um, your ends off from your curly hair so I'm gonna leave some links below for you guys and you guys can check them out about the hair trimming also about some products that you guys may not know that have silicones parabens sulfates that are not good for curly hair also please comment below leave any suggestions anything that you guys want answers to um, maybe suggestions that i can make in the next video anything you want just um leave in the comment below also hit the subscribe button i really appreciate it guys and hit that little bell so you guys know when i'm coming out with a video and also follow me on all social media platforms snapchat twitter facebook whichever one you have but just follow me and just keep updated on Thank you guys for tuning in.